This might be the first time you are seeing this device and perhaps the last one and it is okay. It is not as popular as wrenches or hammers or cats. This tool is used mostly by professional technicians to easily identify wires here, trace wires and check telephone line conditions. Some say it can even detect connections between people. To find your other half, connect the tune generator to yourself and with the magic stick, the probe, search for optional connections until you find the one. Ok, maybe it can't find the other half. After clarifying what it does, let's see what is in the kit. First, we have the magic stick, the 200 EPG tone probe. Second, we have the tune box, the 77 HPG tone generator. Then you also get the socket adapter, two additional tips, one plastic, one metal one, and all is packed in a soft carrying bag. But there is something else, something so important that 99% of the time after you open the box, you do not see it. It just disappears. And I'm talking about the manual. Most of us are not reading that and that's very, very bad. So read it and keep it for the future. One more thing, the probe and the tone generator come with a battery compartment, but no battery inside. To power them, you'll need two 9 volt batteries and make sure they are new. And also a pro tip, do not forget to turn off the generator after you have done with it. How to avoid forgetting? Well, there is no formula for it. Just add a reminder until you get used to it. Or if you have other tricks, feel free to put them in the comments. Magic Stick is actually a professional tone probe. Together with the tone generator, you can identify and trace wires or cables within a group without damaging the insulation. The tip is made of a resistive plastic carbon fiber material that prevents accidental shorts while probing. You can also interchange the tips depending on your application. Then you have the adjustable volume controller. Usually you start with the loudest setting ah, and then tune it down as you get closer to the specific wire. If there is a lot of noise in the area and you can't hear clearly from which wire the tune is coming, you have two options. One option is the audio jack into which you can plug a headset to hear better and eliminate the noises. The second one is the LED indicator that lights up when you touch the proper wire with the tip. Another light source that will make your job easier is the high power torch next to the probe stick. To activate it, you need to press the spring operated button till the end. This is a very nice feature to preserve the battery life. However, if you are tired of pressing and holding the button, you can short circuit the two terminal ports right here with a simple jumper. Those two terminals are also used for connecting a bat set that you can purchase separately from TME.eu. Now, the stick cannot perform the magic trick by itself. It needs its loyal assistant and this would be the tone generator. Actually, this is where the magic happens. It can identify the line polarity, generate a tone and detect short circuits. Here we have the 77HPG. It comes with two alligator clips, one red and one black. It has an RJ11 plug with four contacts for two lines, two LEDs that indicate the state of each test and a switch to select between a fast or slow warble tone. If you want to send a tone across the wire, you either connect the alligator clips or the RJ plug. Here are various options depending on what you're dealing with. You can connect the two clips to the ring and the tip of the line. You can test a coaxial cable by connecting the red to the shielding and the black to the conductor in the center. Or connect the two to the twisted pair. Make sure that the cable or the wire you're testing is not live. You can also test for continuity or shorts by switching it to the short position. If the resistance is lower than 200 ohms, then you get an annoying sound. 
there is one more thing and it happens when the switch is in the off position. If you connect the black lead to the ground and the red to the line, you can identify which one is the ring and which one is the tip. By the way, look at this chart. For 99% the ring is the constant color and the tip is the zebra. For CAT3 cables the ring is red and the tip is green and if you have the second line then the yellow is the ring and the black is the tip. To do so you need a working telephone line but nag nag this is the 21st century and unfortunately none of my friends have a landline phone to test it. Anyhow, this tool is for professionals and there are a few variations of it like the oh, 77MG or 200BG. They have fewer features but they are still good enough to find the wires between the rooms. And since you watched this video till the end, why not give it a like? Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.